Good day traders, today we're going to be talking about the fourth core axiom of the turtle traders. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Good day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading and today we're talking about the fourth core axiom that the turtle traders used in their learning and in their approach to the markets. And that's know what you are going to do when the market does what it is going to do. So what does that mean? So we talked about, you know, we've talked a lot about Richard Dennis, William Eckhart. A lot of you have probably read The Market Wizards and you've know, you're familiar with the turtle trading story. We talk about um, all these different approaches to the market and mindset training. And, you know, I talk about this in the seven step daily routine for high performance traders. Part of the accelerated learning that I, you know, I really emphasize that is, and if you haven't done so, go to my homepage, download it. It's an audio file, take it with you build your own daily routine but have accelerated learning and mindset training in there what's critical about this is you get into a trade you know day traders especially this is this is so powerful because a lot of day traders you know they get caught into emotional impulsive irrational type behavior i know so i've told talked about blowing up small trading accounts all on day trading never have i done that on end of day trading but i've done that on on day trading what's imperative is that you know, you've got a strategy, you've got a trading plan. It's it's rock solid. You have an edge. You get into live time, and I and I hear this over and over again from traders. I talk to them all the time, and the number one question I usually ask is, "Do you actually trade your trading plan?" And inevitably, 90% of the time, most of them will say no. Usually, usually if you've blown up your trading account, you haven't followed your trading plan at some point. Whether it's risk management, um, taking trades outside of your trading plan. You know, over leveraging, moving stops, not using stops, chasing trades, uh, averaging into losers, all the things that, you know, I've done and most losing traders do. So you get into a winning trade. Okay, you placed an order into the market or you've gone live into the market, whether it's on a five minute chart, an end of day chart. Number one, have you placed your stop or have you predefined your risk? In some cases, you get into a trade, and in and, and, and a lot of my cases, inevitably, as soon as I get into the market, it immediately goes into the opposite direction. If you've been there, put your hand up. So immediately now, what, what happens is a lot of traders will second guess, and they'll move that stop because they'll say, oh, there's noise there. I don't want to get stopped out, or the brokers are going to run my stop before it moves again. Or they leave their stop there, they left their stops there in previous cases, then they've been stopped out so many times, and then they've watched the market return and continue to go in the, the original direction that they were trading in. But that first trade was wrong. If you, if you hadn't got stopped out, if, if you've been stopped out, then it was wrong. Like uh, Warren Buffett talks about this. If you're in the market and, and you're losing money, those trades are losers. They're wrong. Re regardless if they're going to come back at some point or not, right now they're losing trades. So if you, have a, you need a process for managing winners and you need a process for, for protecting your downside. Now obviously protecting your downside involves position sizing, capital management, and stop loss placement, however you're doing that. And also once you're in a winning trade, how to potentially minimize the amount of money that you might leave on the table. So the turtles talked about how they would move their stops but only after a certain amount of movement. And a lot of their big moves would actually trade back against them. And they would lose a significant amount of profits but inevitably, in a lot of cases, the market would continue to move in their original direction, at which point they were able to move their stops, but they had to watch it come back and eat away at a lot of their profits. That takes a significant amount of discipline. Um, but they knew that when they were into these bigger trends, that was one of the things that they had to do. So however you're trading, it's imperative. What are you going to do in all scenarios when the market does what it's going to do? You know, coming from a sporting background, ice hockey, all these you know, different gridiron, the different sports, football, the, the sports that I played. After a while, when you get to a certain level, you get up to the higher levels, especially in ice hockey, you're prepared for every, every scenario, whether it's a power play, you know, defense, one-on-one, -on -one, all the moves they're going to throw at you, or if you're going down on a goalie, you know, you, you, you're prepared for every scenario because it's been grilled into you over and over and over again through hours of practice, two-a-day practices, morning practices, game days, all these sorts of things. And that's how you have to prepare for the markets. This is where the accelerated learning comes in because, yet, yes, not only do you have the opportunity to be picked up into a trade or to, to enter into the market, but now you also have to have the, the skill set 
and the, the, you have to define how are you going to manage that trade through all case scenarios. When are you going to move your stops? Um, do you have a time stop? It, it, after a few days or a few hours, do you, do you exit the market if it hasn't moved? Do you have uh, uh, a strategy for pyramiding into winning trades once they go? Do you have a strategy for, for getting out of a trade earlier before it hits your stop? And whatever that is, whatever the scenario is, prepare yourself in the simplest way possible so that you can execute that and duplicate it over and over again. Again, Axiom, Core Axiom, Turtle Trader, Core Axiom number four, know what you're going to do when the market does what it is going to do. Know exactly what you're going to do under all circumstances. Hopefully you got some value from today's video traders. We'll be moving on to video number five next. Stay disciplined, stay focused, keep getting better, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.